it's a lot of work filming and editing, huh, dude? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and welcome to the start of a brand new reading vlog. So this is the second vlog that I have planned for December. Again, sorry if you hear noises, there are other people that live in this house other than me. <laughs> Today is going to be another week-long reading vlog. Here, I'm going to put my glasses on because I'm a blind bat and I just did the little intro so you wouldn't have to look at the horrible glare, but now I don't care <laughs> because I'm almost legally blind and I cannot see crap without my glasses. <laughs> I forgot to let y'all know that I got two wonderful Christmas presents. First, I got The Friend Zone by Abby Jimenez from Jess from Peace Love Books. Oh, she's so sweet. Um, I'm linking both of these people down below, by the way. But she's so sweet. She sent me this romance book that she absolutely loved, so she thought that I would love it too. It was on my wish list, um, and I can't wait to get into it. It just looks so cute. All I know is about it's about this woman who cannot have children anymore. You done, Willow? Anyway, um, that's all I know about it. I want to go into this one as blind as I can. I have heard mixed reviews about this book, so we'll see where I lie in that area. Hopefully, I do love this one, though. And then today, Carly from Carly Reads. I love Carly so much as well. Um, she sent me On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. Oh, thank you so much, Carly. This is so, so, so sweet of you. This is Angie Thomas's second book after um, The Hate You Give, which I just recently got the collector's gold edition from Barnes & Noble. I honestly don't know anything about this except it has, to, has something to do with a girl who raps, maybe? I don't know, which is very foreign to me. I don't actually listen to rap music, so we'll see how this one goes. I'm really looking forward to it though. Carly said it's one of her favorites of the year, so I'm super duper excited to get into this. And again, thank you so much, Jess and Carly, for sending these to me. I'm beyond grateful and I'm so grateful to have friends in this community. So by my last reading vlog, y'all would have seen that I finished a Black Dagger Brotherhood book. I honestly don't know if I'm going to read the next book, which the next book in publication order is, I believe, Blood Fury from Black Dagger Legacy. I'm reading these two series of publication order. I don't know if I'm gonna pick up that one or a new one from Audible Escape. I'm kind of thinking I want to take a little bit of a break from J.R. Ward for the moment. Last reading vlog, I literally read three of her audiobooks that are, by the way, over each 15 hours long. I am still a little bit over 50% of the way through Callie's Catastrophe by Ruby Dixon. This is an Ice Planet Barbarian Ice Home book. I'm not really enjoying it as much as I wish I was. Wednesday and Thursday, I have my finals. Wednesday is my biology final. Thursday is my geology final. So I'm currently actually making flashcards for my geology class and I've made 100 so far and I am halfway done. <laughs> so I wanted to finish them by the end of the night. So maybe I will be able to, but I've been watching booktube while making flashcards, getting caught up because I'm very behind on booktube. I am I have over 300 videos in my watch later playlist. I am going to go get to completing my geology flashcards and I think I'm going to be reading a little bit of Callie's Catastrophe before bed tonight. I have maybe a little bit of 100 pages left in it, so we'll see how that goes. But anyways, I will chat with you later when I have a little bit more of an actual reading update. <laughs> Hello there, everyone. Sorry if you see Oreo in the shot. He's being very cuddly right now. I have been studying all day for my biology final tomorrow, and I've taken some breaks here and there, and I have read some of Callie's Catastrophe. I am 80% of the way through now. Uh, hopefully I can finish it tonight. I also wanted to pop on here real fast because I think my announcement video is going to be going up on Sunday, so this reading vlog will be up afterward. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. Let's talk about the Kendall Unlimited Weekend Readathon. Jess asked me to be in this readathon, hosting it with a bunch of other lovely ladies who I will link down below. There's a bunch of us. I watch every single one of them and I am so like grateful and thankful that Jess asked me to be a part of this because this is gonna be so fun after my finals are done tomorrow and the next day. I really want to get my uh, TBR together for that and some recommendations for y'all because that will be fun too. I've never actually hosted a readathon in any way before, so this is going to be a lot of fun, I guess. Man, he is in. <laughs> you good? You're fine. Hey, you're good. 
he does not like when the dogs bark. So I'm actually gonna go get back to uh, studying. I'm gonna take a shower, maybe read a little bit more of Kelly's Catastrophe and then go to bed. Hello there everyone, it is the next day. I just finished my biology final. Woo, woo, woo. One down and one to go. I started, I believe it's called Blood Fury. It's the next book in the Black Dagger Legacy series. I actually decided to uh, continue with Black Dagger Brotherhood books even though I thought I was going to take a break. I didn't have time this morning to uh, download a new audiobook before I got in the car to drive to my class. I'm about two hours into the 13 hour audiobook. This is about Peyton who is like a vampire aristocrat and I think his relationship with like a uh, female trainee of the Black Dagger Brotherhood who's in the training program with him. So I'm excited. They're both like really stubborn and have a lot of tension. So I'm really enjoying it. I actually got really tired last night and still have around maybe 12, 10% left of Callie's Catastrophe. I wanted to finish it last night and I planned to, but I fell asleep. So maybe during one of my study breaks today, because I have geology final tomorrow, I will be able to finish the book. Right now I'm in the gas station getting some gas. So after I'm done here, I'm gonna go home, eat some lunch, maybe take a little nap, we'll see, and uh, maybe read some of my book. So I'll talk to y'all later. Oh my goodness, y'all, I am such a dumbass. Right after, right after I, I ended that clip, um, I uh, went to go take the pump out of the fucking car and I literally locked myself out of my car. Luckily, like I have two gas stations like literally on my street, so my house is down the street. But <laughs> I locked myself out of the car. I locked myself out of the car. My key's sitting in the driver's seat. I'm like, oh shoot. Told my mom and she came down. So I have to unlock my car with a key because my clicker doesn't work. She found two keys that looked like mine, but it didn't work. <laughs> and I was like, shoot. Because I left my purse in the car. Like I have my wallet in my hand. I always keep my wallet with me. But my purse with all my study material and I carry my life in my purse. I have a Mary Poppins purse. I put everything in my purse. And then <laughs> she went home and she came back and she found like a long lost keypad that was busted and tried it. And by the grace of God, it worked. <laughs> I would have been sitting in that gas station for forever. My mom is the best. Thank you, mom. Hello there, everyone. I'm taking a study break. Oh my God, look at Dolly. What are you doing? <laughs> Come here. Come here, Key. Come here, Key. Come say hi. Come say hi. <gasps> Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I feel like Katniss doesn't get a lot of vlog time. She's a shy creature. <laughs> Give me a high five. Oh, that was good. High five. Give me. Yeah. But anyways, I actually got two packages in the mail. I think one of them is a pre-order, so I don't know what the other one is. It's not my pre-order. <laughs> what is this? Okay, I cannot find a note. <laughs> oh, it's from Jen! <laughs> Never mind, here's the note. It's behind the other one. Oh, thank you so much, Jen! I'm gonna show you the book. Jen got me The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Abby Waxman. I've been hearing great things about this, especially from Chelsea from Chelsea Dolling Reads. Um, she just read this and loved it. Oop, some of my package is stuck. So, oh my goodness, thank you so much, Jen. This is so sweet. Like, I kind of look like her if I was wearing my glasses. <laughs> thank you so much, Jen. Oh, I'm so grateful to have you as a friend. I bet this one is the pre-order. It's not. <laughs> what is this? I hope you love this one as much as I did, Avery. Merry Christmas. Love, Shelby. Oh. <laughs> Shelby, you sent me the last letter by Rebecca Yaros. Oh my god. Shelby, you're so sweet. <laughs> okay, I'm linking Jen and Shelby's channels both down below. I love them both immensely. Jen is in the Lovely Ladies Book Club with me. Uh, she reads all kinds of books. Uh, she's just like recently getting to the romance scene this year and she's a big Harry Potter nerd like me, like everybody. Um, so I totally recommend Jen and Shelby is another 
oh never another um fellow romance lover i love her so much i feel like she's someone i can really confide in in the book community and she's just super duper sweet thank you so much shelby this is so sweet i believe this one is a military romance i honestly don't really know all that much about this one i remember chelsea from chelsea darling reads talking about it in one of her reading vlogs and her reading it and absolutely loving it and i was like I know at the time what it was about, but right now my brain is goo and I don't remember. I'm sorry. But oh my gosh, thank y'all so much. I was not expecting to get these. This is so lovely. Um, This is very unexpected. A great little study break for me. I've never felt this much love in a community before since I've been in high school. And like that was a little bit not really. I was in the theater community in high school, like the theater scene and like I did shows and everything and I had some friends in the theater community in high school but um there's only maybe like a few people that like I actually felt like I could confide in could consider a really like true friend because high school was really really hard for me I have and still have a really hard time like connecting with people and trusting people <laughs> person with social anxiety <laughs> really severe social anxiety so i just feel so blessed to be in a community where i don't have to feel self-conscious about myself because i love books and i've made friends with other people who love books it's just so wonderful <laughs> i'm so grateful for every single one of you anybody watching any of my videos you don't have to send me a book that's what i'm saying for me to love you. I'm saying like, I love everybody who takes a little bit of time out of their day to watch me of all people. It kind of baffles me. <laughs> I just wanna say, I guess, thank you for watching my content and being my friend <laughs> and being my friend. I really appreciate it. And I feel like I finally have like my own little place in the world uh, with people that I can call my own. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> um, just thank you so much. I'm grateful for all of you. Um, anyway, I gotta go back to studying some geology. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. Looks like I just woke up, but I actually already took my last final, and now I'm back at home, um, taking a little bit of a break before I have to eat lunch and then go to work. I am cuddling with all three puppies. Here's little Ollie boy. He's my big cuddler. You say hi, baby. Here is Katniss, or we sometimes call her Cat or Kiki. She's my baby girl. She is a sweetie. Here is Willow. You say hi, Willow. She is half Border Collie, half Chocolate Lab. We've had her for the longest out of dogs, at least. And then, actually, Mr. Oreo is here, too. Hi, Ari. Actually, also, Savannah's in the window. Sup, Sup? <gasps> Say hello, girly. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. We're having a little bit of a cuddle party um, while I rest for maybe like a little bit, an hour, because I think I deserve it. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I finished Callie's Catastrophe. I think I'm just gonna give it three stars. It was okay, it was not my favorite. I'm really looking forward to the next book though. I'm gonna try to start Well Met by Jen DeLuca today because that is our Lovely Ladies Book Club pick for the month of November and December. Hello there everyone. I think it is a couple days later. Um, I don't think I vlogged at all yesterday because I had some stuff to do. Um, today, it is around four o'clock in the afternoon on Saturday. I haven't done any reading. Yesterday I did finish Blood Fury by J.R. Ward. I really loved this one. I gave this one five out of five stars because I loved both couples. The couple I loved the most though, it's a gay relationship and they are so cute and their relationship is amazing. <laughs> I finished that yesterday, that audiobook, and then I started Well Met by Jen DeLuca. Well Met by Jen DeLuca. Um, I'm on page 36. I had to go with my mom to the Apple store yesterday because she's been having some computer issues. So while she was there, I read around 30 pages and I tried to read a little bit more today, but um, I had to go help my grandma decorate her Christmas tree. I just actually came back from that. I did actually, before I came home, I did a little bit of Christmas shopping. I have to leave in less than an hour to go to um, a Christmas party. So I'm hoping to read... Oh. 
I just dropped the book off the bed under my bed. Sorry, my bed is like as tall as me, so give me a second. Oh, I got it. I got it. I saved it, I got it. There we go, nothing ever happened. Um, anyway, I really want to read some more before I go to the party, come home, and I think I'm gonna have to film a video that I have to get up tomorrow. It is the um, Kindle Unlimited readathon announcement. Um, I gotta film that, post that. Oh, if you didn't know what this is about, this is a romance involving two people at a Ren fair. In real life, they hate each other, but their characters that they play is a tavern wench and a pirate and they end up having like a romance with their characters but they actually hate each other. Um, that sounded really cute to me. And this is our lovely ladies book club pick for the month of November and December. So I'm going to get to reading this. I'm really enjoying it so far. I really enjoy our narrator. I really want to read a lot today because um, both Jen and Ashley have already finished it. Anyways, I'm going to get started and read some. <laughs> Hello there everyone, it's later in the day. It's actually 2 a.m. I went to a Christmas party, didn't come home till maybe like 9 or 10, started filming the announcement video at like 10.30. Oh, hello sir. I had to upload, edit, upload to YouTube, and I just finished right now. It's a lot of work filming and editing, huh dude? Yeah. Was that, was that, I feel sorry for you kids, because I feel sorry for me too. I'm so tired. I'm not used to going to bed this late. I used to be able to stay up till like 4 or 3 a.m. I'm becoming an old lady. <laughs> I got these PJs today because the party was a pajama party, and they have polar bears on them, and I'm really happy about them because they're really comfortable. The only reading that I've got done was the reading you saw me do before the party. I read to maybe like page like 60, so... I doubled my page count, which is great. I'm gonna set aside a lot of time tomorrow to reading that book. It is so good right now. I am loving Emily, our narrator. I love her voice. I'm interested to see what happens between her and Simon, because it's like a hate to love. I know they don't like each other, but someone told me that like their characters that they play at the Ren Fair really. Oh. Okay. <laughs> The characters that they play at the Ren Fair like fall for each other. There's like a romance between them or something, which I find really weird and like interesting. Um, but I want to know what's wrong with Simon and why he's such a big booty hole. <laughs> this guy just acts like he's a stick up his ass, and I want to know why. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed now. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow when I'm actually like feeling awake. Hello there everyone. It is the next day. It is noon. I have been chilling in my pajamas all day. Um, I've been reading more of Well Met. I am in love with it so far, like in love with it. And for the past hour, I have been watching all the other co-hosts for the Kindle Unlimited Readathon. I've been watching all of their videos, commenting on, commenting on them and getting great recommendations from them, books I've never heard about before. And I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I was getting very emotional earlier, like literally crying, tearing up because this is just such a loving community. It's just, I feel so grateful to um, be able to make some amazing friends who uh, found my little channel and like to watch my content and I love to watch theirs. I was getting very emotional earlier, but right now I am going to be wrapping some Christmas presents because my sister is still currently asleep <laughs> and both my parents are out of the house. I have time to wrap presents with nobody awake in the house. <laughs> I also really want to get as much of Well Met completed as possible because it is so good. I'm so hooked. I'm going to be watching some more booktube while I wrap Christmas presents for other people. I still have to make a bunch of blankets for people. <laughs>
<laughs> so I don't know if I'll be able to get that done today. I might listen to an audiobook and do that, but we will see. And I will chat with y'all later when I have an actual reading update. Hello, it is just a little bit later. Um, I just got a package in the mail and I think it's a gift for my wish list, so I'm gonna unbox it for y'all. And I forgot to also mention earlier this week that I got the pre-order from Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. I pre-ordered this sucker. This is a YA romance, I believe, dealing with a mother and daughter. That's all I know about it. I just buy anything Colleen Hoover writes. Um, she's an autobi author for me, so hopefully I will really love this one. So here is the package. I'm gonna open it. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's from Ashley. She got me a copy of Phoenix Unbound by Grace Draven. <laughs> she said she loved it and she when she read it, I have yet to read this one and I absolutely love Grace Draven. So, oh my goodness, Ashley, thank you so much for this. Grace Draven's book covers are absolutely fantastic. This is all I know a fantasy romance book dealing with a witch who gets sacrificed, I believe to like a god or something every single year, but she always comes back and becomes a sacrifice every year and I think like people don't know and then a guy realizes it or something like that. That might have sounded very confusing. I don't know. This sounds so good. Thank you so much, Ashley. I really appreciate it and I love you a lot. <laughs> okay, I also want to say when I went Christmas shopping yesterday, I found two things for myself. Um, I found this mug in the checkout line. It says, don't let the muggles get you down and it's a picture of Luna on here and um, Luna is my favorite <laughs> from Harry Potter so I had to get this. It was only five bucks and I don't have any Harry Potter mugs funny enough. And then I found this very cute basket. Um, I really want to put books I've hauled and books that I've read in the month in this box and I think I have room like up there to put it. My room is very cramped. I have too many bookcases to be honest with you. Um, there's no free space on a wall anywhere in this room. That's what I got this for. I saw this and it matched kind of my other one that I have that I put my mass market paperbacks in. So I'm excited to hopefully put Well Met in this box later. <laughs> so I'm gonna stick this up top. Anyway, I'm gonna go get back to wrapping presents so I can be done with that. I'm also watching Chelsea Dolling Rain's um, first, I think, Vlogmas video. I'm watching her reading vlog while I'm doing it. I love Chelsea so much. So I'm going to go get to watching her and wrapping some presents. <laughs> Hello, it is later in the day. It is almost 11 o'clock at night. I just finished Well Met by Jen DeLuca. I loved this. I'm giving this five stars. I really loved this a lot it's just like i really connected to um emily our main character um it never really really specifically states that like she has anxiety or anything but i could just tell that she catastrophizes a lot in this book i do that a lot with my anxiety so i was like oh my gosh i think the same way where you like spiral in all of your thoughts and think the worst of things so I really loved this. I loved Emily. I loved Simon. Their hate to love relationship it really got to me. I really loved them. And Jen DeLuca is coming out with a sequel all about Emily's friend in this book. And I'm really excited about that one. I don't know who her love interest is going to be. So I'm excited to figure all that out. Anyways, I'm really tired. Um, I'm going to go to bed. And I guess I'll wrap up this reading vlog tomorrow. I have work tomorrow, but I don't have school anymore, so I get to sleep in before work, so yay! <laughs> so I guess I'll chat with y'all later with my wrap-up portion of this vlog. Hello there everyone! I'm going to wrap up this reading vlog. It is Monday. Enjoy the view of apparently Ollie's butt and <laughs> Willow Chew Bone. <laughs> I completed three books in this week reading vlog I think um I completed Callie's Catastrophe by Ruby Dixon which I gave three out of five stars I'm thinking more of a 2.5 I don't remember anything that happened in this when I read it earlier this week it just wasn't really that memorable to me the hate to love aspect was all based on miscommunication which is not my thing not my favorite in the series at all number nine in the Ice Home series. Then I read Blood Fury by J.R. Ward, listened to that one. This is book number three in the Black Dagger Legacy series. I really loved these two 
couples is mostly based around in this book. I gave it five stars. One of the couples is a gay couple and I love them a lot. <laughs> One of the characters has been like getting the short end of the stick for a very, very, very long time and he finally found the love of his life and uh, it was fantastic. Last night I completed well Met by Jen DeLuca. Sorry, I don't have my copy with me. It's still up on top of my bookcase in that box. <laughs> um, I gave this five stars as well. I don't know very many people on Goodreads that have rated this five stars, which I guess I'm in the minority, but I loved this. Like I can see myself rereading this all the time. Emily spoke to me a lot. Uh, I related to her a lot she likes to catastrophize and spiral into her thoughts and kind of think the worst of things and that happens very often to me because of my anxiety it's never explicitly stated that she has anxiety or anything but i just felt like her thought process was a lot like mine so i related to her the whole renaissance part was amazing i've been going to run fairs since middle school and i love them a lot i loved that aspect to it how uh, you got to see them rehearse and you got to see uh, what their costume was like, how they felt in their costume, um, and just like all the different characters that pop up in the Ren Fair. My only little tiny critique is that I wish there was more about the Ren Fair. Like I wish maybe like her character would have been able to get out more in the fair. Um, but other than that, I loved this a lot. <laughs> Simon and Emily were so cute. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about Will Met because I could talk about it all day. I am going to go to work in about an hour um, and before I go I'm going to pick out my uh, next physical read and I have to pick out my audiobook for the week um, but I'm going to do that in the next reading vlog so be sure to check out the next one to figure out my plans for this week. Anyways thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all soon in the next one. Bye!